Greetings, this is Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop and welcome to my YouTube channel. Panoramic images inside Photoshop. So Photoshop supports equi rectangular projected photos, which are basically 360 degree by 180 degree photos or a two to one ratio. You can import these images and simply go to 3D menu, spherical panorama, and select new panorama from layer, and it will automatically generate a 3D preview of the panorama. You can roll around in the camera view here. You can even change the field of view if you would like. You can pull it back further. We're already at the max at about one, whoa. Or bring it back in. So you can touch it up if you wish to. You can come over here and use the and uh, the, uh, sorry, the healing brush tool, for example, and say you don't maybe want that shell to be there, and you can spot that thing out of here. Now, the important distinction, there was spherical panorama in Photoshop prior to this. It was under the new mesh from layer mesh presets. We have actually updated this to include the metadata on export so that if you choose to share an image like this inside uh, Facebook, it will actually know, the Facebook reader will say, oh, it's a 360 image, we shall treat it as such. That way when people view it on Facebook, they would be able to see this 360 degree view. And that is one of the new features in the 2018 Photoshop. If you want to know more, you can ask questions or you can try it out and share your examples. I created this with using NVIDIA Ansel with the ARC video game on the Windows. It's a quite a fun tool. Thank you, NVIDIA, for that. Those fun tools. And subscribe to the channel if you're interested to know more features, especially these new ones coming out. And thank you for watching.